Welcome back to um, God's Church. I'm your host, RL. This is a video uh, part four of 1 1 2014. Now we're continuing now with uh, this. In 1568, the Great Bible was renamed as the Bishop's Bible with 19 editions from 1568 to 1606. It was a rough draft for the King James Version. The Geneva had been simply too much to compete with. So, by 1580s, the Roman Catholic Church saw it as lost the battle to suppress the will of God. Now, that His Holy Word was available in English language. In 1582, the Church of Rome had surrendered their fight for Latin only decided the Bible was available in English. They would at least have an official Roman Catholic Version. So, the Dewey Rames Version came out, yes, in 1589. Rams New Testament and uh, Dewey Old Testament translated in 1609. The college and the city of Dewey, supposed to Dewey, combined product commonly referring to Dewey Rams in 1589. Uh, with the death of Queen Elizabeth I, Prince James VI of Scotland became King James I of England. The Protestant clergy approached the new king in 1604 and desired to have a new translation replace the Bishop's Bible printed in 1560. And they knew the Geneva version had won the hearts of the people because of the excellent scholarship, accuracy, and exhaustive commentary. However, they did not want the controversial marginal notes proclaiming the Pope and Antichrist, etc. Essentially, the leaders of the church desired a Bible for the people and only the people, with scriptures referenced only for words clarifying a cross reference. Translation and all translations, for a while at least. The result was in uh, 1605 um, uh, from the Dewey, uh, let's see, the Coverdale, the Great Bible. All the Bibles were condensed, right? And grab the Bishop Bible in 1605 and 1600. Scholars engaged in private research in 1607 to 1609. Work was assembled in 1610 and brought in 1611. So they used many books. There was the typographical uh, error discrepancy and the gender pronouns he instead of she in the first editions of the Bible for the he and she Bibles for Ruth in 1611. Also, it was printed regular size Bibles too. Uh, King James book took decades to overcome. So, uh, John Bunyan, who while in prison for the crime of preaching the gospel, wrote one of the Christian's history's greatest books, Pilgrim's Progress, through 1600s, as the Puritans and the Pilgrims fled the religious persecution of England, crossed the Atlantic to start new lives, took with their priests Geneva, and rejected the King's Bible. Protestants are largely aware of their own history that the Geneva Bible... That's right, the Geneva Bible uh, was uh, kicked out in 1644, I believe it was. Uh, so, um, nevertheless, King James Bible turned out to be the exact and accurate translation become the most printed book of history in the world, with a billion copies in print. In fact, over 250 years, until the appearance of the English Revised Version in 1881 to 1885, the King James Version reigned without much of a rival. One little known fact in 200 years that published America actually, the 1769 Baskerville spelling and wording version of 1611. Original 1611 preface is deceivingly included in the publishers with no mention of the fact that it was nearly the 1769 to be found because it might hurt sales. The only way to obtain a true unaltered 1611 is to buy it on eBay or get a facsimile or reprudent, reprudent, you know. So, yep, the first Bible printed in America was 1663. It was in an Indian Algonquin language. But, and then uh, Robert Atkin in 1782 was King James Version uh, Bible. He also the Bible ever authorized by the U.S. Congress to be printed. He was commended by President Washington for providing Americans with Bibles during the embargo of imported English goods due to the Revolutionary War. In 1808, his daughter, Jane Aitken, became the first woman to ever print a Bible and to do so in America's history since 1791. The uh, first family Bible printed in America was 1791 by Isaiah Thomas, by, uh, you know, etc. The Bible's colonial America. Um, the Noah Webster Bible wasn't brought out in America into English until 1833. There remained too loyal to King James Version, the Webster Version, has much impact. 1880, the England's own planned replacement for the King James Bible, the English Revived Version, or the ERV. 
The widespread popularity of the modern translation brought with another curious, the absence of the 14 apocryphal books. Apocryphal books are what the uh, Catholic believes in, or the apocrypha, which is the between the New Testament and the Old Testament, or the Old Testament and New, as they say. So, let's get down to brass tacks. Now, um, every, since 1880, every Protestant Bible, not Catholic, had the 80 books, not the 66 that are now. Written hundreds of years before Christ called the Apocrypha was part of virtually every printing of the Tyndale Matthew to the Great Bible to the Bishop Bible to the Geneva Bible and the King James Bible removed it and the King James in 1880. The original 1611 contained the Apocrypha and King James threatened anyone who dared to print the Bible without the Apocrypha with heavy fines and a year in jail for the last 120 years that the Protestant Church rejected these books and removed it from their Bibles. This has left the modern day Christians believing that the popular myth that something Roman Catholic about the Apocrypha. There is however no truth in the myth and no widely accepted reason for the removal. In 1880s however they officially issued the main mainline Protestant de denomination. Uh, let's see, the American Standard Version ASV in 1901 was published and the uh, uh, revised again in 1971 and called the New American Standard Bible NASV, NASB, or NAS. And in 1973 there was a new one called the New International Version or the NIV, New Inspired Version. In 1982 there was produced called the New King James Version and then there's the NIV uh, again and uh, NSAB called the English Standard Version in 2002. And then recently they produced one called the new the King James uh, the Holy King James version I believe that was with the um, uh, what do you call it the uh, one with all the Jehovahs in it you know it was like the Holy King James version you know that they put back all Jehovah's names but Jehovah's was only in it four times so with that said what's that say well now you got the Bible history I'll talk to you in part five in a second about it so stay tuned